everything is proceeding as I have foreseen it. <laughs> hey guys, I just want to talk about the Emperor's arrival in Return of the Jedi. You know, I love this scene in terms of sort of it's bringing us the first glimpse of Vader and the Emperor together on the Death Star or in sort of an Imperial environment, you know, working as a sort of leadership team, I suppose you could say. You know, I always thought that the Emperor's arrival had that sort of big boss vibe to it. You know, it's literally like, oh, the CEO's here. Better get your stuff together, and uh, better, better show them that you are uh, you're good at your job. You know, and it's the first time we see Vader sort of humble in that respect. You know, somebody's darker and more horrible than Vader. You know, as he kneels here, we we really see that sort of like homage to the Emperor. And you know, I love that the Emperor's cane here. You know, for the first time we see you know this old dude's got a cane. You know, who is this guy? You know, this is the first time we saw it on camera. This old man is the most powerful thing in the universe, and Vader's just towering above him. Why is he scared? But you sort of suddenly feel, you know, from you know Ian's performance that okay, he's got a hold over Vader here, you know, and they're talking away and the respectful troops just standing straight in the background, the biker scouts, the stormtroopers, everyone's, you know, probably crapping themselves at the idea of even moving anyway. And I think, you know, the relationship here between Vader and Palpatine, we want to see more of this throughout, you know, the other Star Wars films where, you know, we want to see this sort of operational discussion of Palpatine and Vader on a daily basis. And you can imagine the sort of mentoring that Palpatine gives Vader here is the first time we see that sort of like that that coaching vibe between him and Vader where he's like coaxing him along nicely but also mindful of his feelings in a dark respect you know and at the end you know having a laugh with him literally joking you know they must have done that time and time again which is obviously a bit weird but it's fantastic to see and, and it, I love the idea of you know one of the series maybe is exploring these two you know Hayden Christensen um, and Palpatine sort of doing other stuff in the empire and the wider empire on a daily basis it would just be fantastic and now you wish to continue your search for young skywalker